Okay, so I'm going to have a look at the different types of vias that you can do in Jetta PCB Designer. Just close the library and log windows and zoom in a bit. Actually, I'll just activate the um, visible grid. There we go. So I'm going to pop down some vias. There's an icon in the bottom left there. I'm just going to put a few, zoom out a bit, a few random ones in. And we'll perform different functions on them and compare them. And I'm also going to put uh, a plane in the background, like a power or ground plane, so you can see the various things that you can do with that as well. So if I was to hover over this plane and use the S button, I can swap between the vias being attached to the plane or detached. So you've just got two options on that. And if you use the S button whilst hovering over a via, you increase the size of the via. Or you can use Shift S to reduce the size again. Um, I'll just make this one a bit bigger as well. Let's see another one. And then what you can do is you can use Alt and S to increase the size of the hole in the center, like so. And another thing that we can do is we can use the K button to increase the size of the, uh, the clearance between the plane and the via. So if I hover over this and press K, you can increase the size of that area. Or Shift and K reduces it. And if you hold it down, it comes right in until the via connects with the plane. And you can also use that whilst you have the solder mask layer activated. So if I press the solder mask on and you hover over a via and press K, it will unclear the metal area of the via, which will allow you to solder onto the board. If not, the, the, the solder mask does come right up to the edge of the hole and it will give you a kind of tented via, so you wouldn't really be able to solder onto that very easily, not without having to scrape off parts of the solder mask. But you can also hold down K as well and expand out beyond that and have a larger clearance around the hole as well. I'll just hold this one down for a bit. Uh, there's another one. I'm pick, make a massive one there. So I just take the solder mask off now and we'll have a look at some other options that you can perform. Uh, for instance, hang on, before I go any further, I'm going to save the layout. It's good practice because they do occasionally crash these programs. Uh, they're, they're quite good, they're uh, pretty stable, but every now and then they will crash. So it's it's a good idea to have to have your your files backed up. Um, I'll show you this therm button as well in the bottom left. So you can use this to turn uh, a via into a thermal type via or with a thermally dissipated via. I'll just increase the size of that so you can see what we're doing. So again, you can affect it in the same way. You could use K to increase the outside part there of the via. And again, you could have the solder mask cover that section or, or be clear of that section, whatever is more suitable for you. And um, aside from thermal vias, you can also have octagonal vias. So if I just hover over this one here and control O for Oscar, um, that will turn it into an octagonal one. So put some clearance on it as well with the K button there so you can see it better. And again, you can put a thermal on that as well. Um, let's press escape to come out of that mode. And another, I think the last thing I'll show you is um, if you just want a hole in the PCB rather than a via, what you can do is hover over the middle and press Control and H. And you can see instead of having the grey uh, metallic area that you can solder onto, you just have a black line around the outside denoting that it's no longer a via and it's just a hole. But you can affect that in the same way with the um, with the with the K to increase the outside, or you can pull it in and have the, uh, the the plane go right up to the hole, or again 
the solder mask you could have that wider than the hole if need be or right up against it so it just gives you a general overview of the different types of um, veers you can do and how you can quickly adjust them using the keyboard shortcuts.